Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Where to, partner? Hey, what's up, man? You know, I'm just dandy. I, uh, my mom made this stuff. It's cheesy chicken and rice. And then, it's a great base. I mean, solid eat, but it's just the same flavor. You gotta dress it up with something. So what I dressed it up this time is with a layer of cheddar and some sour cream. Oh, come on, I should be able to sleep in this bed. No? Guess I gotta find my own bed. Dude. They're all taken. What kind of crunk is that? At least I can get my robot. So how's it going, man? What you been up to? I, I didn't really feel like watching anything, so I was like, alright, let's pick up this game where I left off. I got some new jokes. Oh yeah, I had them store things for me, didn't I? Most of this just needs to be sold. Okay, we got that friend. We gotta have, let's see, no, not that girl. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta have the guy that follows us. So yeah, probably sleeping in one of the many beds that I'm not allowed to sleep in. There's a girl, she's wearing some armor too. Hey. Get up so I can lay down. Is it time? Yes. I'm ready when you are. Now we are well rested and we earn plus 10% experience. I roll or sweet. Now I just gotta decide what I'm gonna do. Uh, uh, casino floor. Casino floor. Casino floor. 
Oh, okay. Oh, man, this is so perfect. Grilling and chilling with Mojo. You're here. You're fucking here. Why am I telling you I should be asking you? Because Mom's a chef. She does a lot of great things, but this cheesy chicken and rice was basically a way to use up the old chicken and old rice. You know, kind of a cleaning the cupboard thing. And she's like, here, you can have it. So I got this big old vat of chicken and rice. But I was talking to her, and she's like, yeah, it could use something. And I was like, it could, you know, it could use something else in there. So maybe like some bell pepper chunks, fresh bell pepper chunks stirred in it after the fact. You, know, you heat it up, then you stir in some fresh bell pepper chunks. But that's not enough. It needs one other thing. I don't know. Maybe like a tortilla chip or something? Yeah, he's a pretty good guy to have, you know, following you. Just point that one out. Should we go talk to Elvis? We can go talk to Elvis. The king. I, did. I can never say that right. The king. The king. The king. The king. The king. Petitioner for the king. Who's the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? In Freeside, the kings rule. And the king rules the king. Got it? Okay. Yeah, I'd like to see the king. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? I'm new in town and wanted to pay my respects. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's a bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Alright. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Uh... Do you always charge people to come talk to you? Charge? <laughs> Pays must be added again. What did he take you for? Nothing. I talked my way in. Pace must be losing his touch. Either that or you're a smooth one. So, what can I do for you? Um... Got anything I could do around here to help out? Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? Okay. What are we doing? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Yes, sir. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be. So the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Okay. Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. 
hot diggity. Cashola. Personal space meaning anything to you guys? We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. Oh, really? How much? 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. 200, huh? What if I'm not going to the South Gate? Sorry, but all the people with real money are heading for the Strip, so that's the way I go. You want to go somewhere else? Hire one of these losers. Okay. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. To your left here is the old Mormon fort. Up ahead on the next block. Come to Nick and Ralph. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freesock till you've been to the... Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. You only fired three shots, and there's four dead guys. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Why'd you run ahead? Call it a hunch. You do this job for long enough, and you learn to trust your instincts. Examine the body closely. A quick study reveals the thug is still alive and pretending to be dead. I wonder if I put a mine down, if it would do nothing until they move. Careful. Well, here we are. No worse for wear, are you? I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. Should have called him out on it.
actually, let's... Let's do that this time. an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. Oh. Okay. I ought to take my chances and kill you right here, but you may be right. Here, take this. Don't think this is over, though. I'll have that money back, out of your hide if I have to. So eventually... Here we are. I trust you'll keep your mouth. Okay, let's go talk to the kind. So popular. I never enjoyed it. In a little, but, you know, it got old fast. Yeah, I thought he had a couple of groupies. I want to go to the strip. We never get to go to Gamora anymore. When is the king coming back up here? I'm bored. What do you have for me? He's fraud. <laughs> so that's how it happens. Okay, then. I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something. So maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Okay. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. Okay.
There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. That's bullshit. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Yield some more, man, for... What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Uh, the king asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Well, you can tell me about the attack. Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets, and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. What about the people? They were big guys, young too. <laughs> No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. That true? Did the king really send you? Uh, yep. I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Every bit helps. What? No, I thought you were supposed to be here to help, and here you are making accusations. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us really? call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant. That's what he called him. Lieutenant. He probably said Lieutenant, Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. All right. I gotta get a refill.
Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I can't believe it was way back there. What is it? Oh, that's different then. How can I... They were big... I hope... Wayne, it's okay. The king sent them. That true? Did the king... I don't really... Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lou Tenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. Frank's family. I can't ever thank you enough for saving me and mine. We're free now. All right, dang damn it, we gotta do a little bit of reading. Okay, yeah, uh, we just get arcade at, and it doesn't matter if he's with us during these things or not. So he doesn't care if we kill Caesar, and he doesn't care about Silas. So I guess we should go talk to Silas then. So after the king, we'll go talk to the other people in the NCR base.
We've got stuff we're not even... Have you found anything out, or were you just here to check? Ah, uh, soldiers. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around. Particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Julie Farkas. Oh, it's the hair and face guy. Hey. <coughs> Julie. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Things seem pretty rough. More than rough, it's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. Oh, what can I do? There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Mm -hmm. Well, we can, we can do that, but what about the... Oh, I guess we should do that first. Um, do you sell medical supplies? We're pretty short-handed as it is, but I suppose I could spare a few items. Oh, I'm just looking to sell things to you.
The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally, and some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Hmm. What about the soldiers? Major Elizabeth Kieran has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? Uh, the king thinks troops have been attacking locals. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? How about the addicts? Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump if he sobered up. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. What do you want to talk about? Fort serves as the regional hub for the followers of the apocalypse. I am the administrator for this region. The followers of the apocalypse aren't just interested in research. We care for our fellow man and do everything we can to help humanity. Here in Freeside, we provide food and medical services for those in need. We also have organized reconstruction efforts. With the help of Bill Ronte, we were able to install a water pump just west of here, but the kings quickly took control of the pump. We arose from the boneyards of Adidam years ago. Since then, we have made it our mission to rebuild the wasteland and re-educate its inhabitants. We hope to forge a brave new world free of war and poverty by sharing knowledge and resources. Our primary goal is the free exchange of ideas. What do you want to talk about? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garretts, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. What do you want to talk about?
He did on bullets. Fine by me. Hey man, can you spare a few caps? See ya. Morning. You look like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an in. Now, it's not that I don't believe you, but I'm gonna have to give you a little quiz to verify your citizenship status. That okay with you? Get on me. That's a good attitude. I'm sure you'll do fine. These are just a few questions that just about anyone in the NCR would know. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Oh, shit, I don't know these. Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, The Boneyard, or Vault 13? Right. Fine then, last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two-headed bear, an eagle, a two-headed snake, or a two-tailed lion? Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like you've got some of your facts mixed up. I'm afraid I can't help you. Now I know you're from the NCR. None of the vagrants around here would even think of giving their money away. We're located up by the old train station in the northwest part of town. Just tell the guards hope and they'll let you through. Best of luck to you. Hold up, what's the password? If you're here to see the Major, then I suppose it's all right. Head on through. Here you go. I hope this helps. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. You're quite welcome. If you meet anyone who needs food or water in the area, please tell them about this place. Yes? Was there something else you needed? No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. Yes? Was there something else you needed? Like I said before, we don't. And I'm not inclined to discuss why. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. 
I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now, there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Hey there. I heard that MCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? Exactly. Seeing that we're of one mind on this, I'll head out. I got business to take care of. Personal space meaning anything to you guys? Downstairs in me. Hey. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Handing out supplies, like food and stuff? <laughs> that ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They said, what? Huh, that would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Play it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Hi.
You there, keep your hands where we can see him. Draw a weapon and we will fire. Mori, this isn't really a good time. What did you want? Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. King just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. You seen Dixon around? He said he'd be back today. Nah, he's gone. Julie? Oh, I love Julie. She's such a nice lady. One time I was working on the water pump, and she came over, put her hand on my shoulder, and told me I was doing a great job. <laughs> great job, she says. I just choked up and didn't say nothing. Compliments are so rare these days. Drop drinking? I've been drinking for a straight month. Listen, I I've tried to stop, but the withdrawal symptoms are so bad, I feel like I'm gonna die. I, I can't stop now. Dixon sells me booze dirt cheap. It does the job, but it tastes like paint thinner, and I feel like I'm gonna die if I stop drinking for a day. I swear that guy's trying to kill me, but what can I do? Drinking other booze doesn't cure the sickness like he is. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, aim whatever you want, and if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. We'll do the NCR thing later. 